Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math with Stone. Today we are going to be dividing polynomials by a monomial. So let's say we had something like 3x to the 5th minus 6x squared plus 2x minus 8. And we wanted to divide that by a single term like, I don't know, let's go with 3x squared. If you're dividing by a single term, then what you would really need to do is write each of these and divide every single piece by a 3x squared. Every single piece gets a 3x squared, and you just simplify each of them individually. So if it divides 3 by divided by 3, that divides, that's 1. So you can write 1 if you want to. I, I don't really like writing the number 1 if I can avoid it. Then you subtract 5 and 2, or I like thinking of it as Find the difference between 5 and 2. The difference between 5 and 2 is 3. And the 5 was bigger, so it's going to be a x to the third on the top and a 1 on the bottom. You don't need to write the 1. I'm going to write it twice so you can see the variances. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And x squared over x squared, those would kind of cancel out. So it's just going to be minus 2. And then here... You have an x to the first and an x squared there. If you found the difference between 1 and 2, you would get 1 because 2 minus 1 is 1. But because x squared is bigger, you're going to end up with an x to the first on the bottom of the fraction because the bigger exponent, the bigger x squared, was on the bottom. And then sometimes you'll have something that happens here is where nothing really divides... You can't divide 8 by 3, and x squared didn't have any buddies to cancel out, so it ends up being this, which could be rewritten as x to the third minus 2 plus uh, 2 over x. You don't need to write x to the first. And then minus 8 over 3x squared. So sometimes these are flat out ugly as a final answer, but sometimes they're not. Okay. So let's do another one. I'm going to do it in a slightly different way that they could present the problem. You could also be presented this problem like so. Let's say you had 6x to the 8th plus 12x to the 4th minus uh, 10x squared. And we'll divide everything by a 2x squared. So maybe instead of it being uh, written out as a divide symbol, maybe it's all over 2x squared. If that is the case, then nothing changes. You divide each of these individually. You can either rewrite it like we did kind of last time where you divide them individually, or you can do it in your head. So you can take 6 and divide by 2 and get 3. The difference between 8 and 2, you're not dividing the 8 and the 2 part. You're finding the difference between them, and 8 take away two x's, you're left with six of them still. And then 12 divided by two, you divide your numbers, but you find the difference between your x's. So 12 divided by two is six. Four take away two, not four divided by two, four take away two, you still have two left over. And then 10 divided by two ends up being five because it was negative 10, negative five. And then x squared over x squared, if you took away both of them, you got none of them left. We got our final answer, ladies and gentlemen. That is all she wrote. We got one more for you, just so you get a little bit more practice. And it will also be the very last way that you could be presented with this. So let's say you got uh, 10x to the fifth minus 3x to the fourth plus 2x squared minus 7. And then right next to it, let's say that we had a 2x We'll just do 2x. And then raise to the negative 1 power. Anything that is raised to the negative 1 power is essentially divided by or put onto the bottom of the fraction. So this is the exact same thing as if I just had it all over 2x. So this is the exact same thing as our previous problem. It's just written a slightly different way. So we're going to take 10 and divide by 2 and get 5 take away an x to the first power, we'd have x to the fourth, minus 3 over 2, take away an x, and we would have an x to the third. Now, you can write that x to the third on the top of the fraction or off to the side. 
Both are allowed. And then plus 2 divided by 2 is 1. You don't need to write the 1. But x squared, take away a 1x, and you, you got an x to the first left over. So 2, take away 1. You got a 1. Don't need to write the 1, but I, I just did anyways. 7 divided by 2 doesn't divide, so you can write minus 7 over 2. And the x also didn't divide, so we keep dividing by the x. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you divide a polynomial many things by one thing, which is a monomial. Until next time, stay positive, and I will see you all later. Bye.